I see a lot of great leather and uh, canvas bags coming out of the US, uh, but I just wanted to take a, a quick video to show you a made in Australia leather backpack. This is my favorite business backpack, and I'll show you why. G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. My name is Tech and I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I'm filming on, the Wajik people of Perth and Western Australia. Now, I like my backpacks, like the one I recently uh, got from Dale's Leatherworks, and uh, you can uh, take a look at the video up there. But it is hard to find a, a, a business backpack, which you can take to the office and uh, business meetings. You don't want to take a, a sporty backpack, so you want something that's quite elegant if you can find it. This is Hank Berg's Liam backpack. Uh, it's made in the Apple Isle of Tasmania, uh, south of continental Australia, and it's about a 10 hour, 250k uh, ferry ride from Melbourne. Uh, boot guys and gals would have heard of Tasmania. Uh, Blundstones were made there, used to be made there, uh, uh, but they're still headquartered there. It's a whole different story. Um, other than that though, it's Australia's least populous uh, state and the uh, uh, main economic activity there is really primary production, which is um, farming, sheep, cattle, uh, mainly that. The uh, state capital is Hobart and Hobart is a harbour city and in the harbour every su uh, Saturday, they have an open air market called Salamanca Markets. It's really worth a visit. The uh, market stalls uh, will sell just about everything, uh, fruit and produce, but of course a lot of crafts. While they have a shop in the suburb of Cambridge, uh, Hackberg has a stall at the markets uh, on Saturdays, as well as selling through uh, their website. I'll leave a non-affiliate link down below. Uh, Hank Vandenberg is uh, Dutch born and started Hankberg Leather about 35 years ago. Uh, like all small uh, uh, bootmakers, um, he started his leather goods with a clear vision to offer uh, an option to our throwaway society by making long-lasting, repairable, durable, veg-tanned leather goods. His daughter has now taken over the business and still operates under the original values of creating high-quality uh, craftspeople-made functional leather goods. In making their products, they are locally tanned, vegetable tanned leather, selected for uh, durability and uh, grain character and cap capability to develop a unique patina. This is their Liam backpack. Uh, this is brown, but you can get it in black uh, and tan as well. Uh, I use this as a business backpack because uh, it measures uh, 32 by 45 by 12 centimeters. Taking a look at the outside, uh, it's leather, is veg tanned leather, very soft, very buttery. Um, I've had this for a few years now and you can see the patina that's developing uh, on the surface of the leather. Uh, you can see the full grain sort of uh, veg tanned, uh, obviously veg tanned grain leather with a lot of um, grain in it, showing all the uh, wrinkles, the hair holes. Uh, the some cuts and grazes that you get as you're carrying this around. Uh, it's very buttery, even now. Uh, and the shape of it, because it's reasonably square, um, it almost looks like a big square briefcase, but obviously it stands this way up. Now, let's take a look at uh, the pockets and things that come with it. They are two uh, side pockets. They're big enough to put in um, Things like uh, spectacles cases, which I do, uh, water bottles sometimes, and you can have put other things in it that you that you might not want to uh, let fall out, like uh, 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 keys and that sort of thing. But you just have to be a little bit careful with that sort of thing, because I think with these pockets, they're very deep, but at the same time, uh, they're open. So you want to you want to push things in them that are not going to easily fall out. The front. Um, a zip section uh, opens fully with really good zips. I, I don't think they're YKK, but they are plastic toothed with metal um, uh, uh, fastenings. 
covered by a, a leather pull tab. The front zip section opens all the way so that you can actually open it in full. And this is where you can slip in files and folders and things. And on the inside flap are card holders, pen holders uh, for your phone or calculator. Uh, there's also a flap in here with an extra um, pop button so that you can keep that flap closed and things don't fall out. And there's also a zip section in here where you can uh, keep things like wallets and phones and that sort of thing. Uh, so a very functional front pocket, uh, which is gusseted, uh, but certainly very functional and roomy for keeping notebooks, files, stationery, uh, all that sort of thing. Notice I don't say keeping your computer in there because inside the main section, which doesn't all open all the way through, it opens sort of halfway, Inside the main section is actually a padded laptop bag um, pocket and it has a Velcro cover, which I never use. I usually just plop that cover on the inside and that way I can reach in and, and grab my laptop. Um, there's also a flap in the, in the inside front of it for other material and it actually runs from here to here. So it's quite a deep flap, uh, as you can see. And the, the inside case itself runs almost the full, well, it does run the full width, depth of the backpack. And so you can pack it with lots of things like cables and other files and all sorts of things. So I do find it extremely useful uh, to carry my stuff to and from the office or when I'm traveling and I want to be a bit hands-free, I have this on my back. The uh, handles, and I do like this, they have handles on top so that you can, you can carry the backpack without having to grab the uh, back straps. The handles at the top uh, come together with a reinforced uh, leather carrying area uh, with a loop here so that you can clip it all together so that when you're trying to grab it, you're grabbing both instead of sort of flapping around grabbing one or the other. Uh, the uh, back straps are very wide, very securely sewn into the leather. And you can see also the patina that developed here with, you know, a little bit of sweatiness and friction against clothing and that sort of thing and getting nicely polished uh, with the depth of color in the, in the center versus the sides. Um, the stitching is, is very attractive and interesting, I think, but also I think quite functional because uh, these uh, straps go inside the, the two layers but is then stitched over with these sorts of um, decorative stitching. The bottoms of the straps have these little triangles that they're stitched into, so it's totally secure in that, in that little area. Uh, very wide strap, so very comfortable on the shoulder. Uh, it sits really well because it's, it, it's attached really high, so it's not, when you're on your shoulder, it's not sort of flopping behind, it's actually right on the shoulder. Uh, very wide, comfortable straps with suede on the inside that's actually got itself polished <laughs> through use um, but the suede is a good touch because it means it doesn't it doesn't um, uh, slip on your shoulder the hardware is nickel uh, chrome plated I believe uh, nickel hardware uh, with uh, a simple sort of buckle adjustment on two sides the Henkberg Liam backpack currently sells at uh, 348 Aussie dollars, which to me, to my mind, is uh, incredible value for a uh, handmade product uh, using uh, beautiful veg tan leather. Yes, I do realize that it does involve a stitching machine and it's not, you know, physically hand stitched along every uh, thread line, but it, it is a craftsman that's telling that machine what to do. Now, you can get a lot of cheaper handbags, uh, some of them made from so-called genuine leather. Uh, but this is veg tanned full grain leather, uh, tanned in Australia, and it's made by craftspeople from Tasmania who uh, create a work of art every time they stitch this thing together, rather than an enormous factory somewhere in Asia that's uh, you know, paid a couple of cents to produce a backpack uh, easily every time. Uh, I reckon these are really good value for that under 400 Australian dollar 
uh, price, even today, although this is uh, quite an old one for me. I think I've had it for at least 10 years. Going strong, developing great patina. So there you go. I hope you like this non-boot review. <laughs> I've taken a, a bit of a sidestep to do bags, but hey, I've done bags before and you guys seem to like it. So uh, I, don't, I don't mind bringing you this bag from Australia, uh, from a brand that I really like. And my wife likes the brand too, by the way. She's got like four handbags made from Hank Berg and I think she's wanting more. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click on like if you did, and it's not gonna hurt you. Click on like if you don't either. <laughs> It'll help the channel. Uh, and if you like these types of videos, I'm, I'm bringing you more boot videos, obviously, uh, mostly boot videos, but every now and then I'll branch out. So uh, look, if you like getting these sorts of videos, click on subscribe because then uh, the YouTube gods will show those videos to you. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care out there and I'll see you soon.